Next, in addition to the sprites we have created, we need to prepare the edges of the screen as the sprite. For that, let's drag the create edge sprite code block under sprites here. Now prepare the code needed to move the ball using the left right, up and down arrow keys. If the movement is to be displayed properly, we need to add a color to the background here as well. For that, I drag the background code block in the drawing section above the draw sprite code block in this function draw code block. Let's give the color here as black. Next, we need to create the code so that when the arrow keys are pressed, the ball moves in that direction. First, let's think about the case of pressing the left arrow key. I drag the if code block under control here. For the condition here, let's drag the key down code block in the world section. Here, by clicking on the arrow in front, let's select left. When the left arrow key is pressed, for the ball to move to the left, the ball needs to be given a direction as well as a speed. For that, let's drag a sprite.setSpeed and Direction code block under sprites into this if code block. Let's change the sprite as ball and give the speed as 5. For direction, how many degrees should be given? Now the ball is facing the east direction. If you want to travel to the left direction, that is, to the west, you need to turn 180 degrees and travel. So here, let's type 180. It is not enough to move in the western direction when the left arrow key is pressed. Next, let's create the code for the case where the right arrow key is pressed. As before, click Ctrl and drag an if code block here. For the condition, drag the key down code block in the world section and select right from here. Now, the the ball needs to be given a speed and direction. So click sprites again and drag a sprite.set speed and direction code block here. Name the sprite as ball and the speed is given as 5. When the right arrow key is pressed, if the ball is to move to the right, that is to the east, how many degrees should it turn from its current position? A complete round is okay for this, that is 360 degrees. So let's type 360 here. Next, let's think about pressing the up arrow key. Again, I drag the if code block under control here. For the condition here, let's drag the key down code block in the world section. By clicking on the arrow in front here, let's select up. When the up arrow key is pressed, in order for this ball to move up, the ball needs to be given a direction as well as a speed. For that, let's drag a sprite.set speed and direction code block under sprites into this if code block. Change the sprite to ball and give the speed as 5. For direction, how many degrees should be given? Now the ball is facing the east direction. To travel up, that is north, one needs to travel three-fourths of the full circle or 270 degrees. So let's type 270. Now, all that's left to do is to create the code for pressing the down arrow key. As before, click Ctrl and drag the if code block here. For the condition, drag the key down code block in the world section and select down from here. Now, the ball needs to be given a speed and a direction. Click sprites again and drag a sprite.set speed and direction code block here. Name the sprite as ball and the speed is given as 5. When the down arrow key is pressed, if the ball should move downwards, that is in the right direction, how many degrees does it need to turn from its current position? It needs to turn 90 degrees, so let's type 90 here. 